and welcome to Julie Hall Designs. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn any embroidery hoop into a magnetic hoop. If you're like me, you've got a machine that comes with a magnetic hoop. These hoops are fantastic because they only have the outside of the hoop and then they have magnets that sit on top of them and hold your project to the hoop. It means that you don't have all that trouble hooping. However, some machines do not have magnetic hoops. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can turn a regular embroidery hoop into a magnetic hoop. And here I have my standard 5x7 hoop. First thing I'm going to do is take the inner part of the hoop out and I want to close up the tension on the hoop until it's quite stable, just so the hoop doesn't move. From there, I need some magna pins. These are the magna pins that we sell, and they come with a flat back metal piece and then a magnetic top piece. What I'm going to do is put the top pieces away because I want the flat metal pieces initially. I also have some pieces of Incredi tape. Now Incredi tape is that tape that you wrap around your threads to stop it from unraveling. I've cut, my tape comes in two inches wide and I've cut it in half so that I've got multiple pieces here. And all I'm going to do is on the inside of the hoop place that metal plate and then wrap it firmly with the Incredi tape. So again, take the metal plate. Remember at all times you want your hoop to be able to sit flat. So whilst the magnet will sit up on the top of the hoop, it needs to be flat on the bottom of the hoop. Take a piece of your Incredi tape poking your tongue out always helps. The reason I use Incredi tape over um, other tapes and I, when I initially worked this out I used some double sided tape. The Incredi tape does not leave any marks. And I am all about using up things that I have. So on this size hoop which is a 5 by 7 I would be using one, two, three, four, five, six magnets. When it comes to the top here, and you're trying to get your magnet in or other awkward places on your hoop, because I realize that every hoop looks different, you will come through, and it doesn't matter that it's not centered, it matters that it is secured as well as can be. I have had people who've told me that they've bought um, an additional hoop from their supplier so that they can have one hoop that is magnetic and constantly wrapped and ready to do the quilting and one that is their standard hoop. But now that my magnets are on, we are ready to get quilting. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that's been informative to you. Until next time, have a switching day. Bye.